Hello, my name is Jana Nano and I'm a PhD scientist at Erasmus Medical Center, Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I was invited from the editorial office of Gastroenterology Journal to discuss our recently published paper titled Epigenome-wide association study identifies methylation sites associated with liver enzymes and hepatic steatosis. High concentration in liver enzymes, including gamma glutamyl transferase, GGT, and other amino transferases such as ALT, AST, are used as markers of liver injury. These enzymes are commonly altered in different medical conditions such as hepatic steatosis, cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Moreover, abnormal liver function is a common reason for terminating new drugs in clinical practice. The role of epigenetic determinants are increasingly being recognized as an important link between environmental exposures, uh, genetic determinants and disease risk. So far, no previous study have been investigating differential methylation in relation to liver function. Hence, we performed the first so-called epigenome-wide association study of DNA methylation related to liver enzyme and tried to zoom in into those genes and see what are their relation to genetic variation or gene expression and potentially implications to hepatic steatosis. Finally, we integrated these results and performed experimental studies to provide evidence for the function of the identified genes. We used the discovery panel of 731 participants from a large population based study here in the Netherlands with both measured liver enzymes and DNA methylation. The mean age of these individuals was 59.6 years old and 54% of them were female. Eight CPG sites in seven unique loci were found to be associated with GGT levels. The most significant CPG sites in CLC7A11 of GGT levels was also only the only epigenome-wide significant hit for ALT, as depicted in this figure, where each CPG p-value in the epsilon axis is plotted with its location in the respective chromosome x-axis. None of the CPG sites investigated were associated with AST levels after correction for multiple testing. We replicated four CPG signals for GGT, CLC7A11, CLC43A1, CLC1A5 and PGDH, and only one for ALT the CLC7A11 gene in another data set of 719 independent participants. To investigate whether any of the identified methylation changes are cause or consequence of liver enzymes, we perform bidirectional Mendelian randomization approach. We observe a supportive evidence of our hypothesis that methylation at CLC7A11 might be a cause of GGT, and for the other identified gene, we think methylation levels are rather consequence. To experimentally show the importance of CLC7A11 in liver function, we examined the expression levels of this gene in nine different human liver cell lines, as shown in figure A. CLC7A11 has relatively high expression levels in all these cell lines. We further select two of these cell lines with opposite profiles of the expression levels of CLC7A11 and compare the relative expression levels of a number of important lipid association genes reported in previous studies. In fact, Hepargy cells express much higher levels of the lipid associated genes, indicating a positive correlation between expression of CLC7A level and the lipid associated genes. Figure C. To have more insight into the correlation between CLC7 and the lipid-associated genes, we next knocked down CLC7 in HEPRG cells. We observed a significant decrease in expression level of 7 out of 9 lipid-associated genes. These experiments strongly suggest CLC7A11 to be involved in lipid metabolism that may take place through inducing the expression of lipid-related genes. We observe a significant decrease in expression levels of 7 out of 9 lipid-associated genes, figure D. This experiment strongly suggests CLC7A11 to be involved in lipid metabolism that may take place through inducing the expression of lipid-related genes. In conclusion, this is the first epigenome-wide association study of liver enzyme in world blood. 
We identified four differentially methylated sites for liver enzyme, including CLC7A11, CLC43A1, CLC1A5, and PGDH, of which CLC7A11 was independently associated with hepatic steatosis. We provide experimental evidence suggesting that CLC7A level play a role in lipid metabolism through regulating the expression of known lipid genes. While the current study sheds light on the epigenetic and genetic mechanisms associated with liver enzymes, future efforts in larger different population-based studies could lead to identification of novel differentially methylated sites and open new frontiers resulting in earlier detection of cases and introducing potential drug interventions. For more detailed information, please refer to our manuscript in the journal. We wish you a joyful reading. Thank you.